here it is. I told you guys in November, I was screwed over multiple times in the past. Yeah, I think it is what it is. I always felt like I should be a part of that group throughout my career, especially the last few years. I'm grateful to be able to show face again. Clearly shots fired here, her. At who and are they warranted? Well, I think the shot fi shots fired, excuse me, uh, from Matt Miazga at the previous regime, which would be mm -hmm. Greg Berhalter and that coaching staff, um, and Anthony Hudson was with that coaching staff, mm -hmm. so maybe at Anthony Hudson as well. Here's the issue, and Matt Miazga is, I love that he's a very honest individual. Yep. But unless Matt Miazga tells us why, this comes off as sour grapes, because listen, Ricardo Pepe, he got screwed over. Zach Steffen, he got screwed over. John Anthony Brooks, he could even say, I've got an argument to say I got screwed over. Unless you tell us why, mm. it sounds like sour grace because there's a lot of people who are gonna look at your club situation, your club resume during that time, and maybe say, hey, you just weren't in the mix. Mm. Yeah. Uh, we know it's Greg Berhalter, right? Because if we go back to last October, remember before the World Cup, there was that conditioning camp for the MLS guys. Miazga wasn't called into that yeah. and he was asked about it at the time. Here's what he said. Quote, we didn't see eye to eye on a few things in the past, and that has affected me from being called up, right? So we know he's talking about Burhalter. But in, in the same availability, he also says this. Me and Greg have been texting throughout the last four years. He's been in touch with me recently, and I'm sure he watches my games. That doesn't sound, Herc, like a guy that's getting screwed over. That sounds like a guy who's outside the national team that the manager is still taking time to keep in touch with and keep engaged. That doesn't sound like a guy who had a... A hard time. Yeah, here's in, in the year leading up to the World Cup, he played a third of the games at Alaves, and he was a free agent looking for work in MLS. Yeah, uh, the, the, the Alaves got relegated, didn't they? He played a third of the games, whether they got yeah. relegated or not. Yeah, I well, mean, no, 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 no. I'm just saying. And, and here's the situation that, and this is what I'm saying. Unless he tells us why, it sounds like sour grapes because there are often times when you have discussions mm -hmm. with the coach. And we don't know what he was promised. We don't know what he envisioned or was mm -hmm. told would be in his He's process. told us he's going to come out and tell it, and, and this well, would have seemed to have been the opportunity. Come out and tell it, because right. if not, this just sounds like you're bitter. He debuted in 2015, by the way. Greg Berhalter doesn't take over till 2019, right? So, yeah. I mean, it can't all be on, on Greg Berhalter. If he got screwed over, I don't think it was by the national team manager. It was probably by the decision to go to Chelsea. We always say, like, those moves are the ones that you can never turn down. But if he doesn't go on five loans and, and settles down at a decent place instead of being on the Chelsea books for half a decade and never playing there, yeah. maybe he does make the World Cup. You know, maybe that's the difference. Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN Plus.